Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, if you did not know, if you are new, and this is Plant Dust Woman. I know it has been a fat minute since you guys have had a video from me where I'm sitting down and talking plants, and I'm so sorry for that. So if you have been waiting, here it is. <laughs> I've had a lot going on with work, with personal things, just all of the things, and um, also just like bad luck. I already filmed this exact video. If you know, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, um, yeah, there was a lipstick incident and I don't want to talk about it, but needless to say, we are refilming this and this today is my Hoya collection. So I went back and forth debating if I should even film this video just because I don't have that many Hoya. I don't have any crazy rare Hoya. Um, I would love to have many, many more, but I thought why not film it now? This is the collection that I have. I do have a decent amount of Hoya as far as my whole collection goes. I feel like I've got a good handful, so I figured we might as well talk about it because then I can look back on it later when I do have a bunch, which I hope that I do one day, and be like, yeah, look at how far I've come. <laughs> I think it's nice to document like your journey, whether it's small, whether it's big, you can come back and look on it um, and just see where you're at. Or if I kill some of these, then I can be like, oh, look how cute she was. And now you're dead, you know, like you can, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe if you have not already. Why am I so hunched? Do you guys do that? Sometimes I'm literally like, I don't know. Anyhow, I would love it if you would subscribe if you have not already. Without further ado, let's check out these Hoya. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to not film today, you guys. I am a hot mess, wow. Okay, okay, so I have them all kind of in front of me, all tangled in each other, but I figured let's start with the one I've got on the ground just to get it out of the way. And it's very heavy. Ooh. <laughs> and that is my Hoya Australis. This girl, ooh, I love this plant. I recently trellised her, so now she's all fancy with her trellis. I was gonna say bougie, but is a trellis bougie? No, it is not. Um, now she's fancy. She was trailing before, so they can trail or climb. Most Hoya can. And yeah, she just grows like crazy. I mean, she's already like coming off of the top here because she's growing too much. So, and this one is like, look at how tall this is past the trellis. Ay, ay, ay. So I'm just letting it kind of flop around. But the leaves are so beautiful. She's got this whole new stalk coming out of the back that's new. And I love the shape. They're just round and glossy, just beautiful. I don't know, they're really simple and I know that they're pretty common, but I think they're really, really beautiful. And also it's definitely a fast grower. This thing has taken off for me. It has been growing like wild. I definitely noticed that it slowed down, you know, through the winter months, which is totally normal, but I'm excited to see it pick back up through the spring. So yeah, if you don't have an Australis, I highly recommend it. <laughs> okay, I've got to set this down. This is very heavy. Wow. Okay. Um, next, let's kick it old school with my very first Hoya, shall we? I still love her dearly. And that is my Hoya Crimson Queen. She is so beautiful. I have a princess as well, but if you don't know the difference, the queen has variegation on the outside. Hopefully you can see around the edges like this. So this one is extremely sun stressed. If you're wondering why it's like the lime green. That is why she's been chilling in a south window and honestly, it really likes it and it's handled it fine. Um, the leaves come in, ooh, shaky hands, sorry. The leaves come in pink and white like this sometimes. Just so beautiful. I love this plant. This is the plant that really perked my interest as far as Hoya. I bought this on a whim, not even knowing what it was and it was growing like crazy. This has definitely slowed down through the months like I talked about. Um, but during the spring and summer, this was not trailing at all off of this little pot. It's just a little short pot and there's maybe 10 leaves or so. I'll try and insert a picture if I can find one. Um, but yeah, it just, it wasn't really long and now it's wild. Yeah, as soon as I got this, I knew I had to have all the Hoya. I feel like I'm rambling, I'm sorry. Needless to say, she is beautiful. They are common, they are easy to find and pretty affordable. So if you can get your hands on one, I definitely recommend it. And I hope that she grows like crazy this spring. I can't wait. Um, also, I paid $19. That's kind of expensive actually for me back in the day. But yeah, I don't regret it. I love her so much. Okay, next, let me just get these two littles out of the way because I feel like I'm gonna knock them off. First is this Hoya Weyerei. She is super cool. 
I love the shape of her. And then this is a Shepardii. I'm showing them together because they are really similar. The Shepardii has much longer leaves. It's known as the green bean or string bean Hoya. Um, so the Wayadii is just slightly shorter and a little bit wider, but overall they are pretty similar looking. I'm not obsessed with either one. I can't tell a lie, but I think that they're cool. I like them enough. Not obsessed, but I do think they're pretty. I will say that my Wayadii, since I put it in the window, the outer edges have this darker, deep black purple tone. Hopefully y'all can see that. My nails are ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I like the way that this looks and I've seen people's have red in it and things like that. So definitely looking forward to sun stressing her a bit. I'm gonna set these on the ground or actually I'm gonna set them over here so they do not fall. Okay, next, this is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, they are all tangled Hoyas and their vines are sometimes hard to move. This is my Hoya Macrophylla. I believe it's technically the Albo Marginata. I've heard people call it that as well. Um, but these leaves, oh my God. I'm just, I can't. It has this like deep veining. I, don't, I can't explain it. If you have one, you know what I mean, but hopefully you can kind of see that texture that it has with the veins. They're so cool. I wanted one of these as soon as I saw them. I actually got this plant in Des Moines and I packed it in my suitcase, not a carry-on. I checked her, she was checked from Iowa to Dallas and she survived. And like, look at how fabulous she looks. That's why she's got a little battle scar there from travel. But yeah, after that, I knew I loved her. I already loved her before, but like, I'm sorry, you went through checking? Um, you're good. Like what a plant, right? What a plant. I think she's beautiful. This leaf is my favorite. It is so pretty. It's got that white variegation, yellowy variegation on the outside. Um, but the leaves get really, really large. It's a big leaf here. So I'm excited to see her grow. I got her right at the end of summer. So she really took off, doubled in size, and then completely has stopped growing, much like my other one. So I'm really excited to see her push back through in the spring. I feel like I've said that a lot, but I feel like my Hoya have definitely slowed down um, for me. So looking forward to the spring. All right, next, this is my Hoya Cumingiana. Hopefully y'all can see. This is definitely a really different Hoya. It grows up like a stalk. Um, it's very different. I don't know. I didn't get this because I was dying to have it. I got it from Steve's Leaves. I live locally near Steve's Leaves and I had never seen it before and I love Hoya. So I thought, why not try it? And you know what? I actually really, really, really like it at this point but I definitely wasn't sure about it at first. Hopefully that's focusing. There you go. So the leaves are really simple, but they stack up really tightly and kind of um, climb. So I think they're really pretty. It's got some new leaves coming out here. It's definitely didn't grow for me actually through the fall and now it's pushed out three little baby leaves. So I'm excited to see what it does. It's got a new stalk coming in down here as well. So yeah, I do have a little piece of this propagating in my prop box if you watch that video. So hopefully that will work. I also get asked about this pot a lot. This is an Ikea pot. It's just their little like fake terracotta. It's not terracotta, but it looks like it. And that is just speckle. <laughs> That's literally all it is. It's really unfinished. I was gonna paint it and I actually just liked the way it looked and I left it and I get compliments on it all the time, which is so funny because it's just like a half finished DIY, what I'm known for, <laughs> not finishing DIYs. Okay. Next, I think the reason I'm so into this one, I'm not, I'm not so into it. I like this one, but it's definitely the pot. Do you guys ever do that? Sometimes I'm not that into a plant and then I put it in a pretty pot and I'm like, oh, okay, I see you. So this is just a little thrifted pot. It's got little feet on it, which I think is really cute. It has little lions. I don't know, it's just a brass pot. It was a dollar thrifted. I think it's so pretty, but this is, distracted, a Hoya. Crimson Princess. I think it's really beautiful. So unlike the queen, the variegation is on the inside of the leaves and the green is on the outside. Some of these are super variegated, some are not. Um, like these ones are like all white, which is so pretty. Um, but yeah, I love this plant. I think it's beautiful. And yeah, I don't, I haven't had this for too, too long. We have a bigger one out in the office. I should have showed it, but it's all right. You guys know what a princess looks like. But when I saw this little one, it was just super variegated and pretty and I thought that I had to have it. So looking forward to seeing her get large. Okay, that pot was loud, sorry. 
Next, a new Hoya that I'm really excited about is my Hoya Australis Lisa. So it's similar to the first Hoya I showed you. It is an Australis, but this one is the variegated version or the Lisa. The leaves are so, I don't even know the word. I don't have another plant with variegation like this. They're really cool. It's kind of sectoral. Every leaf is different. Like this one is so cool. Let me not get a glare. Hopefully y'all can see that. Or this one right here. They're just really, really unique. And also the new growth obviously is coming in bright, bright pink. How beautiful is that? I've got a new leaf down here and a tiny, teeny baby on the top. There is nothing cuter than little tiny baby Hoya leaves. I knock them off all the time and I kill them and it drives me nuts. I'm like, no, but yeah, they're beautiful. This plant is gorgeous. I got this at a local nursery at Plants and Planters here in Dallas. And wow, there was a line all the way through the greenhouse. I think they got like 75 or 100 of them. They all sold within the first hour. It was madhouse. If you guys were there with me, hey, comment down below if you were one of the people. I met a couple of you guys, but yeah, it was crazy and I'm really, really glad that I got my hands on it. I believe that this was 24 or 29. I'm not positive, but I definitely jumped on it because I have never seen them locally in Dallas. Okay. Um. Two more, two of my favorites. We've got the Hoya Carnosa. Why am I blanking right now? Oh my God, I hate myself. <laughs> Hoya Carnosa Compacta. Wow, like my head literally, there was nothing in my mind. I could not think of what this plant is called. This is the Hoya Carnosa Compacta. It is so beautiful. It's getting really, really long. I actually got this at a big box store. I want to say Walmart. I think I got it at Walmart or Lowe's, um, but it's got five leaves. I think it looks like a little person. It's got like legs, arms, and like a head. I don't know. It's really goofy looking. Um, these two are the ones that are growing the most, specifically this one. It was probably about right here when I got it. So I'm really happy with that growth. I don't have it directly in a window, but it is getting pretty good light. So once again, excited to see it get much longer. If you have ever seen um, these plants when they're extremely long, oh my God, these are beautiful. I know they're common, but they are so stunning. Such a cool plant. I was gonna show you whenever Hoya need water, typically they wrinkle, but specifically this one really needs water. Hopefully y'all can see that. See how wrinkly it is? I don't know why. All of these are fine. I just watered it. You can see the pot is wet. None of these are wrinkly, but this top strand here is completely wrinkly and I'm pretty sure it's about to die off. I can't figure it out. I have pulled it all the way out. The roots are in there. It's well rooted. It's just not absorbing water. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna cut that off, but if you guys know, let me know down below. But anywho, I love this, this fella. He's beautiful and yeah. All right. Lastly, probably my favorite Hoya. I show her a lot. Oh my God, I'm gonna break off the long stem. Oh my gosh, that just gave me anxiety. Well, we got a dead leaf, her always, is my Hoya Chelsea. Just look, just look. Need I say more? Just look. Of course I will say more, but do I even have to? I mean, what a beautiful plant. This is like, my favorite Hoya, near and dear to my heart and soul. It is growing like crazy. All of these really dark shiny leaves that you see are new. So it put out four new leaves here. These two are new. This one is new. Hopefully you can kind of tell the tonal difference between like this and this. So all those really shiny ones are new. And then it put out this random stem over here with just one little leaf. I've had multiple people be like, are you gonna cut that? No, are you kidding me? Look at how cute it is. I love it. I'm not cutting it. It's so adorable. I have taken multiple cuttings from this though. They are over there rooted in moss. I had trouble rooting this in water. So if you have any issues, definitely try sphagnum moss. It's working for me so far. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. I love this plant. This was the one Hoya that was like a wish list plant for me through 2020. I looked for it constantly, couldn't find it. Put my name on a list at a nursery and that's how I found out about it, which I definitely recommend doing if you're really looking for a plant and you know that places get it sometimes. Most nurseries will let you put your name on the list. Don't hold me to that, but some around here do that. So definitely ask, it doesn't hurt to ask. Um, but yeah, that's how I got my hands on this. I believe this was kind of more expensive. 
I want to say $39. It was almost 40 bucks, which was kind of expensive, but look at this thing. It's huge. Definitely worth the money. But yeah, this is my favorite Toya. I could talk for hours. I will shut up about it now. Okay. I think that was it for my Hoya collection. This was super chatty and all me saying, oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. I can't wait for it to grow. So, so sorry about that. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe if you had not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>